I found these Bluetooth modules on eBay. They go under the name HC05. Um, there's several different modules. The one I got are the ones that have six pins and have a state pin and an enable pin. And also, if you look carefully, you can see that this there's a module attached to a carrier board. This is actually soldered on, but it only has solder points one, two, three, four here, one, two here, and one, two here. That's sort of distinctive. You want to look for that to make sure you don't get a different different module because there's many different variations on this theme. It also has to have the push button switch and a few other uh, components there, including the 3.3 volt regulator. I did a rough re-engineering of the circuit, and this is this is what it looks like on the module. The LEDs just connected up here to, to blink status. The regulator goes through a diode, I guess, for reverse polarity protection. The push button switch does this, and it's really the purpose of this, or the push button switch is to put it into programming mode which you need if you want to change into the onboard parameters. But to do that, I connected it using a wiring diagram that looks like this from an FTDI module, FTDI adapter. This is what I also got off of eBay. It's not an official FTDI, but that should work. It puts out five volts. This one is switchable to 3.3, but the module has a regulator to step down to 3.3.5 volts. So you want to run this at this module at five volts. The basic connections are like this. You connect the RX pin to the TX pin um, from the FTDI adapter, for the TX pin to the RX pin on the HC05, and then VCC to VCC and ground to ground. The other trick is that at power up, to put this thing into programming mode, you have to have to power up the FTDI adapter, remove this connector here so it disconnects power, hold down the the, the little switch button here, and while you're holding it down, reconnect the power connection like that. Wait a second and then release. I can't show you here because it's not connected to power, but then this LED should begin blinking uh, very, very slowly. And that means it's in programming mode. In that mode, you'll be able to talk to it at 38600 um, baud. That's this, actually a special case it has when powered up in programming mode. And using AT commands, you can program it. And I'll show you how that works in, in just a second. To put the module in the programming mode, we're going to hold down the button and connect the power line. And notice how the little LED is blinking quite slowly. That's your indication that it's in programming mode. Now to program the HC05 module, we're going to use the Arduino IDE. The first step is we're going to go up and look at the tools menu. Make certain we select pretty much any of the uh, Arduino modules, but select the port to be the FTDI adapter down here. We're actually going to just use, we're going to go down and we're going to select the serial monitor like this and use it as a terminal to talk to the module. Make certain that the baud rate is set to. Uh, 38400 and that this selector over here says both NL and CR. If it's been set in programming mode, programming mode correctly, you can just type AT and we should get an OK response. Now to program it, the first step is we want to set the baud rate for the Arduino bootloader. To do that we do type AT plus UART equals 57600,0,0. Hit return. And that'll program the baud rate to 5700. 6, 57,600. You can confirm that by typing AT plus UART return, and it should spit back what you typed in. Now, I also go ahead and program the password for the module, which is used when pairing it, to the Macintosh default. To do that, I type AT plus PSWD equals 0000. And that also responds OK. In addition, you can rename the modules so it appears you keep, if you have more than one module, so you can keep track of them by typing AT plus name equals, and I'm going to call this one HC-05C because I have two others, A, B, and C. And that takes, it runs OK. So now the module is programmed and ready to use for uploading. We just need a few more additions to the circuit to handle that. We'll talk about that next.
The other trick I had to do is add this little circuit there to control the reset pin. The state pin goes high and low whenever the uh, Bluetooth module is engaged, the HC05 is engaged, but that's the opposite behavior that the DTR line that's normally used to reset the uh, Arduino does. So this is essentially an inverter with a differentiator circuit. Uh, I built it up here on this little circuit board up here. You can see the, the, uh, the 0 0.01 capacitor and the transistor and the resistor. Um, and it connects down to the Arduino Mini Pro that the appropriate connections like that. Um, this is just bringing the RXTX lines and I can take the the FTDI adapter, I'm sorry, the HC05 adapter, and I'm going to plug it in up here in just a second, and that'll complete the circuit, um, and we'll be able to program with it. And this is the HC05 module up here, and this is a little power module I use. It basically generates 5 volts from a, from a AAA cell. You can use whatever you want to power the circuit yourself. But when you power it up, the little module should begin to blink, HC05 should begin to blink very rapidly. That's its default. It's not in the programming mode at this time. And now we can take it over and connect it to the computer and download some code. The first step is to, um, after you've turned on the, uh, the Bluetooth module, powered everything up, connected it to the Arduino Mini Pro, is to go into your Bluetooth settings. Here I'm using Mac OS X, and it's brought up, it's, it's, seeing the module is powered on, so I have to hit pair. And since I've changed the passcode, I don't need to type that in. Now it's going to say connected, so I can dismiss this. Now we're going to upload the blink example. Uh, before we do that, we want to go up and make certain that the parameters are set right. So under tools, you want to make sure we've selected Arduino Pro Mini, which we have, um, and that we've set the uh, 5 volt 16 megahertz version, which is what I'm using, and that we're connected to the Bluetooth port right there as our default. So now back over here, we click Upload. It's going to compile the sketch. And upload it. Now it's done, and we go over here and we can look at the module, and it's now running the Blink example on and off. All done entirely wirelessly through the HC05 module. So this is an adapter I put together using a little bit different circuit. You can read about it in the article I've linked below. This uses a little uh, Schmidt heck uh, inverter to convert the state line into an equivalent of the DTR line that's used to reset the circuit over here, and two little resistors to actually downshift the 5-volt TX signal to RX signal that comes out here. The 3 volts is a uh, signal that goes the other way for, for uh, TX to RX in this direction is actually fine. The circuit over here can read it without being upshifted, so this just gives a little extra safety margin. We can read about how to make this board. It's, it's surface mount, but it's not too hard to build. It's got 0603 resistors and an SOT23-5 uh, part there for the inverter. And there's a link on the on the site that you can order the circuit board. It's it's like a buck to, to actually make this, or even less, I think, offhand. Um, that's it.